Hello friends, I'm Dragonate. Welcome back to some more Pamela. Pamela has been updated, and today I'm kind of showing my friend Rocky this game while I record this one. Just for fun. For the views, of course. Hello. So I've actually only seen a little bit of this game. How dare you? You should be watching every single one of my videos on it. <laughs> Get Dude, out. I have so <laughs> many things I need to do every day. It's not even funny. I'm working on like two new projects right now, or like two mini books. Mm-hmm. Oh, that sounds kind of cool. Oh well, that missed. <sighs> well, fine, whatever. I don't care. Doesn't matter all that much. You bring that weapon out again. It looks like a crossbow attached to your arm. Is it? It is. Yeah. Oh, that is awesome. It is called the uh, the, 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 the javelin XT. It, the, the, this update adds adds a couple new different things, uh, or. I guess improves on a few things. Pay, pay, pay no attention to the inflated numbers over here. I did a lot of exploring and, and stuff. <coughs> uh, one of the things that <laughs> that the update apparently brings is uh, the ranged enemies. So that um, some enemies now have ranged... Oh, holy crap. Okay, well... The, the, this glitch where, where you could pick up these things from a distance has now changed. These guys are also yelling a bunch. Boop. So some enemies now have ranged attacks. Uh, for example, this guy may have possibly had the laser or the javelin on his arm, and he would have been able to shoot at me, uh, which is kind of neat. It brings a little bit new of a challenge, which I like. Um, also, Seekers... The Seekers, well, the the Mr. Robot, he also has ranged weapons. I think, I think, if I'm not mistaken, it's something like uh, lasers coming out of his eyes. I forgot what superhero that's like. Gazer beam, laser beam, something along those lines. How are there even more? You guys were not here. Just get out. Oh my god. The other thing it apparently brings, I'm sorry, I'm just kind of like hanging around here the entire time. Upgraded weapons now do more more oomph they, they, they have better better upgrades like the, there's an actual difference in feeling between non-upgraded weapon and now a fully upgraded weapon which is a good thing as well actually spec one does double damage to targets that are unaware spec two fully charged bolt is guaranteed to stun the target so that's kind of nice as well and i don't think it had that before i could be wrong oh spec two okay may maybe it did maybe it did um so for the arc welder spec one increase the amount of times the arc welder can change by one change or charge and spec two arc welder bolts have 25 percent chance to arc to one extra nearby enemy so that's kind of neat as well yeah okay so that wasn't fixed you can still <laughs> you can still pit pick up items from from dead bodies a mile away hello do you have you have nothing on you do you crap I'm sorry mr. robot I'm sorry I did this it's your own fault mr. robot get out of here that's a reaper there too get out okay I'm just leaving I apologize I am very very sorry this is not what I intended go away I'm going to go explore garrison while we take a look at these things the the these updates and stuff whoa we're actually losing energy hey well I guess um we are operating at only 67 67 percent or something like that but you can see here the the Arcadia district promenade district um, even arc medical arc medical is at 96 percent Nirvana's at zero Garrison's close I just have a few more things for that and Oasis I I have almost <clears throat> Almost everything in, in all these places. I believe Arc Medical, I might be missing one little thing, like a battery or something. I'll have to check. I know I'm missing a battery in here, and that's uh, very close to where the cathedral is. So I still need a uh, locked, a, 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 a code thing. Look at look at her. She, she has a ranged weapon on her. Look at this. Come on, use it. Use it, lady. Use it, lady. She's not gonna use it. Ooh, look at that! He he has a ranged weapon on him. Use it! Use it! Haha! -ha. It's basically the arc or the uh, the javelin XT. That's so cool. So the thing for the cathedral I'm talking about is right here. This thing I need to get in there. There's a there's a battery in here somewhere. If I look at the map, it shows a battery thing over there. 
And there's also a Pamela Echo thing, so I need to get in there. But I don't have this code for the cathedral. But my god, this game, it definitely feels very, very laggy right now. I don't know why that is, but like you can see the, the jumping. That is not a smooth frame rate. Even turning down some graphics settings doesn't really help. That is, that is terrible. I still need to go further down. Oh look, money. Pamela, hello. Nine days since I have been alone. Now I will say that there's going to be a lot of those Pamela Echoes that you guys have missed because I found so many and I wasn't about to leave them there and then try and remember where exactly they all are when I come back to play and, and, and record it. Uh, so a lot of them you guys will not get to see because of that. So I apologize. Really? What the? Get there. Maybe, maybe at some point, what once I found pretty much all of them. I, I I found so many, but what once I found all of them, maybe I'll just kind of go through and uh, we'll look at them all together or something. I'm only missing 32 of the Pamela Echoes, so I also just realized I'm only recording this one at uh, 30 FPS instead of 60 FPS, so um, it's not really gonna look the best for you. And I apologize. <laughs> I still enjoy how, how these guys kind of jump out of the way, and what did I just get? Die, whiteout. Ew. Well, that's what the plain whiteout die looks like, which I'm not surprised. It was just white. Lady, how did you get stuck in there? Come on. The screen share for Discord, it takes down the frame rate of this game so much. Oh, really? Yes. I turn it off in instant smoothness. It's not perfect still, but it's a thousand times better than what it was. Uh, there's a reaper here being smacked around by three robots. <laughs> Darn it, I can't get into this stupid thing. I need another code for the for the thing. Where are all these codes from? Give me the codes. Do you have the you stupid stomp on your face? Try one, two, three, four. Yeah, I, I try that all the time, it never works. <laughs> I literally, that's the first thing I do. Whenever there's a new code, or wh whenever I need a code for something, the first thing I try is one, two, three, four, just to see if it works. There have been a couple times where it actually has worked. I have way too much crap in my inventory. I don't even know what it is I need in my inventory anymore. Chow down on everything. <laughs> there's no point in having anything in my inventory. You find so much food in this game anyway, that it, it, it actually becomes really annoying to find food and water and stuff. Or food and drink. Just enough. I don't need this much food. What, do you want me to be fat or something? Oh wait, I can't say fat on YouTube. That's a swear word. Ooh, what's this? Some secrety door thingy? Ooh. Okay, what's in here? And I need a flip flapping code for this too! Get, uh, open- friggin- Where do I get all these codes from? Oh, oh god, I missed. Oh. Freaking how? How do you miss twice? Poison it. Poison it again. Poison it a third time. And it's coming after me. Oh, do you have a mustache? He does have a mustache. But his face is still ripped apart. I want to see his mustache. I want to see his ripped apart face mustache. <laughs> that looks super messed up. But it's more like, does it have a storyline or is it just more like Fallout where... There's a storyline, we did a side quest, and things like that. Well, right now, there is not much of a story for it. It hasn't been fully added to the game yet. If you had to sum up Pamela in five words, what would you... Like, five different words that sum up Pamela? Futuristic. Very cool. Count that as one word. <laughs> Uh, I don't know. I don't. I'm. I'm not good at doing that kind of thing. Beautiful. The the design of it is very very good. Very very good. What would you rate it out of ten? Um, I guess it depends on how. I guess in general, right now, it would be. It, I'd have to make it a six or seven out of ten, just because uh, there's still bugs with it and right now there's not really much to do there's a lot to explore but there's not much to really do fair enough so uh, until the game is updated more and what are your expectations for the game i, I want to see a game that you know th there's a lot of different weapons uh quite a few different enemies but not so many that it's uh difficult to do anything you know i but i want there to be a story the, they're kind of, the, there is a bit of story, or rather lore, with it, but there's no storyline to be following. There's no goal. 
with it. Right now, you can just go around. a linear story. Yeah, a, ra a, a rather linear story. I like the fact that it's uh, open world. You know, there's no possibility of really missing things because you can just always go back to it. You can always go back to an area you've missed or that you haven't explored fully. So maybe something similar to Fallout 4 or Fallout New Vegas. Is so, something like a Fallout sort of thing, I guess, is what I'm thinking of, expecting. But I don't want it to be as douchey. <laughs> and by that, I mean they put infinite content into those games. Infinite. And at some point, like, I just want to stop playing Fallout. But I feel like I can't because... There's still more to do. Is there anything you think they should remove from the game that currently is in the game? I can't think of anything that shouldn't exist in the game. Aside that's from good. bugs, aside from... That, you know, that's the obvious, though. Yeah. I really haven't played a lot. I've only really watched a few little bits and snippets of Pamela. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't, is there a crafting system? Yes. Okay, so how is the crafting system? Pretty good. It's very simple. You literally just scroll through a thing and you click an item and craft it. You don't and have to about, do anything. What about anything. gathering the materials? The materials, all, all crafting materials are stored separately from your normal inventory, so it doesn't waste space in your inventory. Are some of them rarer to get, or some of them more oh, Of course. So, some of them are definitely more difficult to get, um, okay. which is fine, because up until a certain point... Oh, shoot. I don't know what that was. Crap. Because uh, up until a certain point... Oh, God. I don't know what I just used. Frick, I used a thing on myself, and so some of the more rare items you would... They're more easily obtained if you kill the Seekers or, um, well... The robots. They're the good ones, and they do a lot of damage. So up until a certain point, if you don't have good weapons or armor or upgrades, it would be a terrible choice to be attacking the robots. Um, no, no! I didn't realize that was just going to be a hole. Oh, God, I almost killed myself again by fall damage. So I'm assuming that... There's a variety of weapons. There's seven oh. total. Now, which one is your favorite and least favorite? My most favorite weapon, the Arc Welder. The Arc Welder seems to be the best of all the weapons. It has a good area of effect damage. Least favorite so far has been the Kinetic Mortar because it's just a bit annoying. It just it blasts everything away. Right now, what, what I'm mostly looking for, mainly looking for, I could jump down there and not die this time. Haha! -ha! It... Well, bye then. Uh, <laughs> are the uh, key cards for other doors and such? Oh God, because uh uh no okay that was uh, uh don't like it. Would you say Pamela's a unique game, or do you see it's drawing similarities to a lot of other games? Uh, there's definitely a few similarities. I do see it as a unique game and a unique experience. It, it, it reminded me a lot of Prey when I first started playing it, just because of the inventory and the recycling. Garrison servers! Ah! I found the key code to the server room. Oh! Holy crap, there's dead bodies everywhere. And there's there's nothing to tell you, like, where you've explored and where you haven't, what you've missed. Only if you find, like, things that you've unlocked or something before. Actually, well, there's no way to know because you, you'll never know if something was previously locked and now it's been unlocked. What one thing, and again, that this will probably change when when the game is more updated. The, there's a lot of empty empty areas. You know, all this open space that they, they have like de decoration, but none of it does anything. Ah, the map. The map is annoying. Like parts of it are annoying, or it needs like a whole rehaul. The fact that it shows every freaking floor instead of okay. just the one that you're on and it, it's kind of a 3d map which is kind of cool so i can see where, where everything is right but i can't see individual pathways because i'm my view is being blocked by floors above that the map is showing me i want to be able to see individual areas aha i found a thing i think i may have just found the last wall that needed to be repaired in this area yeah now this place can be operating at full power efficiency and i found another key card for the main armory Oh, hooray. What does this have on it? This is a, basically a tablet that's turned off, and yet I can read some stuff on it. <laughs> Hilarious. Let me in! 
Don't scan me. Go. Yes, thank you. Open up. Open says me. Little pig, little pig, let me in. The garrison cryo bay. Ooh. <gasps> Is that another key card thingy? No, that's just a random orange light that's reflecting from the abyss. There's no orange light in this place for it to be reflecting there. Pamela! Oh, good, another Pamela thingy. Yeah. Oh, screw up. You piece of crap. Genome point available. Oh, yes, that's right. Genome points. Nimble feet. Deft hands. Iron skin. Uh, this thing to one point into each, I guess. Attempts to communicate with them. I only have about 19 more Pamela echoes to find as well. How many is there total? 155. Um, I will have to go here in a minute because I have a few stuff I need to take care of before bedtime. But I have one last question for you. If you could say one thing to the creators of Pamela, what would it be? Uh, good job and keep it up. They're doing a very good job with it. Some people were scared that they were going to kind of abandon it. Keep on top of updates. What do you think would be a good amount of time between updates? Six weeks? Two to three weeks. I mean, they, they don't have to do too much. The, the problem, I guess, is that they, ca they came up with a little map. A, a development map or update map or whatever show players what to look forward to what their plans are and all that kind of thing right. and the problem with it is they 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 put on there like a timeline as well around september or like midsummer kind of thing or whatever this big huge update would be added and they still haven't done it that's i guess a problem right now makes sense there have been like flipping 10 of these pamela echoes in this one area i found like 10 not even kidding here's another one i just found one while i was telling you about that and now here's so another one i'm at 139 out of 156. i like this little cryo bay area though there's like so many in this one 8 16 24 cryo bays in this area that's ridiculous what did i do why is this guy mad at me? I submit a formal request to review the new temporal formula. Oh god, I just heard Mr. Robot's eye laser or whatever it is. I didn't see it though. Oh, I want to see this. Get me out of here. Show me your eye lasers. Ooh. Show me. Show me again. <gasps> Ooh, he's targeting. This is the third time this month. I no, that looks like another key card thing sitting on the floor, but I can't pick it up, which is very unfair. I'm gonna head out for the night. To all your viewers, I say good night. Have a good night. I'll and don't again. forget to comment on this video, like and subscribe. Thank you for sticking around. Ooh, the server room here is pretty darn cool. Oh, this definitely looks very cool. I like this. What? How? This was a locked room. How are there these random guys just like floating around inside here? <gasps> Ooh, good, a battery backup. Well, my resources are dwindling. Please find me. And here we are at the armory again. Seven, three, oh, one. Enter. Open. Let's see what we got inside here. Ooh, 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 ooh. Well. Thank you for dying on me. What? Oh. What? Wait, those guys can actually detain you and stuff. Oh, that's terrifying. Ow! Hey! Whoa! Okay, well, Mr. Robot's gonna use his laser on me. Well, I don't like that. Aha! Try getting me now, Mr. Robo. Well, I think that may have been it for exploring this area of garrison. We got to see a couple of different things as well with the ranged enemies and everything. So I'm happy. I need to now find that last key card here for uh, o Oasis, the, the cathedral area. I need to find that, and I don't know where to go to do it, but I need to find that. But I'm going to leave this one here for now, so thank you everyone so much for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this one, and uh, yeah, we'll, we'll get back to this at some point again soon. Have a wonderful day, bye-bye, and God bless.